that traditional northern New Hampshire flavorful beauty that we all grew up with. And today, I am going to do my own version <coughs> of steak cushy over rice with bulldog sauce. I'm going to marinate the skewers, because that's what cushy means, the skewer in Japanese, in case you guys didn't know me from the area, you eat cushies your whole life, you never realized. It's cushy. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta take this call real quick. Yeah, I know. It's dinner time. So we're gonna start by cutting up our steak, which I have these beautiful sirloins, gifted to me, by the way by Sir Chef Brian Alden, my good buddy, probably, minus me of course, the best chef I've ever worked with. So what you're going to do is you're skewering. So what you want is you want good sized chunks, but not like big old chunks. You don't want to look small either. But with these, what I do, I'm going to cut that fat off right off the bat. We're not going to use that. Kind of trim around a little bit. And then, just gonna cube it up. So what you can do at this point, I like to do it this way because it's quick and easy. Just place that thing the long way right in half. Take a little bit of that fat off right there. And then you're gonna cube it. Good size piece, you know. It's a nice little chunk right there. We'll keep it up, we'll keep it up. And then uh, when you're done, we'll put it in a little bowl <coughs> and get it ready for portioning. And that's when you do a whole BAM! So your safe tips are done. <laughs> I love that trick. I love learning new stuff, man, and I definitely learned how to do some TV magic. Woo -woo -woo. Now we're going to move on to your peppers, onions, and mushrooms. Again, we'll go over this. That's how I do got my peppers. Least waste. Turn that thing upside down. Cut right around the core. Look at how beautiful that comes out. How there's no, there's no rib, there's no seeds. Oh, there's a seed in there. I always eat my words when I say things like that. Just kind of carve it down. As you can see, no waste. I'm going to take that piece up because we are using those skewers today. Cushy. So then, same thing as the uh, as everything else is going to be done. Um, I'm going to cube it up. Put it in a little container. <coughs> Getting it ready to be portioned. I won't use my magic. They told me that if I use too much of it for personal gain, I'll lose it. I don't want to lose that trick. That's a really good one. You know what? All the hell with it. Bam! That was all cubed up. Now we move on to the onions. sure you're all wondering if I'm going to use the BAM on this one too. More than likely is the answer. So with this, onions, top, bottom, off, just kind of score right down the side of that. Get that layer of skin off that is no good. Nobody eats that. Then, Again, how I do it, everybody has their own technique. I cut that bad boy right in half, and then I cut it a long way in half, and then I just make those cube cuts. All depending on how much you like onions. Depends on the size of your onion. Onions. 
didn't use the VAM. And to warn the last sign. Pick that up. And then on to mushrooms. Now, I chose Cremini's or Baby 40's. Um, what you're going to do with these, you don't even have to cut them, nothing. This is all hands on. You take that stem, you're going to pop that right out of there. Just that, that easy. I'm going to leave it like that. <coughs> pop that stem. That easy. Pop that stem. That easy. Pop that stem. That easy. Pop that stem, and BAM! Greenies! It was getting torturous. Alright, so now what we're going to do is, uh, we'll make our marinade. I'm going to stop eating these things, I'm going to get fat. Alright, so on to the marinade. Now, I use a specific marinade, if you have your own, like, family recipe, or whatever you want to do. Use it, dude. I'm not forcing you. I'm not, I'm not stuffing this down your throat and make it, make it that way. So, but this is my marinade for this specific recipe. I've used it for about seven years, and it does come off as a little weird when you hear the different flavors that are in there. Anyway, so we start with extra virgin olive oil, which come to find out is not extra virgin because there's like this huge fraudulent thing going on in Italy with extra virgin olive oil. So technically. We're going to use the whore olive oil. And I'm going to go about half a cup. A little half a cup there. Half a cup of olive oil. Mix it bowl. Don't worry about rinsing out your uh, your cup. It's all going in the same batch, man. You know, all comes out the same way. Sorry, I was using the wrong cover. Then I'm going to go half a cup of pineapple juice. We've got big old cans, we're going to have to transfer that later. Now I'm left handed, so this is going to really screw me up. So half a cup of pineapple. All kinds left to drink. The wife's gonna love me. Then we're gonna do a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. A quarter cup of red wine vinegar. We're gonna go literally. Please be warned. Use sesame oil. Do not use a lot of this. It will overwhelm your palate. And you're like, oh my god, I like that stuff. Five lines. So you're going to go, I'm going to go one tablespoon. One tablespoon of my multicolored, yeah. One tablespoon of sesame oil just for the flavor. We are going to go. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. I did not choose to get fresh garlic this time around. It just takes up a long time. And you guys are watching a 37 minute video on how to make cushion. That's ridiculous. We're going to go two tablespoons of minced garlic. We're going to go back to the one tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning. Could be Quebec. I don't know if they make a Winnipeg or an Ontario state season, but I've seen Quebec and Montreal. They're the same thing. I don't know why they just don't change it to Canadian state season. A. I'm going to mix that right in there. So you take your whisk. As I will show you, the consistency you want is you don't want that broken down. Like, you don't want it separated. You want that to look whole as one. And your marinade's done. And uh, that's how it looks. And now we're on to skewing up our stuff. 
How about that? So now we're skewering or cushying. Oh, you cushy! Uh, so this is how I do it. Again, everybody has their technique. I decided to do four steak tips to each skewer. As you see, I didn't use the damn trick. I just got a head start. Cameraman was in the bathroom. Anyway, so I start with my steak. And with that, you can kind of jab that. Now, what you want to do is at the end of your stick, to kind of portion it properly, you want to be able to get a good grip on that. And that'll give you your, your handle. And I set it up kind of like a cafeteria line. You know, you just come through, you grab, you go. Now, with the veggies, so they don't break on you, you're going to want to do a twisty thing. A little twisty twist twist. Yeah, so that they don't break. So a twist, like a screwdriver, right in there. Especially with the mushrooms, because even the twisty thing with the mushrooms is not a guarantee. And then just keep going, you know? It's like building a puzzle, putting things together. Just keep on rocking this. Try to think of something to say to you guys. I'll tell you the story real quick about the cushy. Cushy was, like, brought to us by... Has years ago in, Berlin, in Gorham, New Hampshire, this whole community. Uh, and she called them cushies, but all they are is skewers. And we grew up on that shit, man. Like, straight up, like, oh, what do you want? What do you want to eat? Oh, let's do cushies at the Yokohama. Go over to a barbecue or whatever. So, what's on the girl doing? Oh, I made cushies. It just became like that, that local stigma that is just awesome and wicked tasty. I love that I got a long piece like this because now I can show you how to do that. It's going to kind of worm it like you're fishing. Push it down. So that's that. And uh, I'm going to finish this last bit up. And then I'll show you how to marinate it. And uh, it's dinner time. Real soon, guys. Real soon. Be patient with me. You know? Good help ain't cheap. Cheap help ain't good. And good stuff don't come in seconds. All right, so we got all our skewers done, got our marinade done. You're gonna want to give that a good little stir. Make sure we get back to that consistency because it will separate. You're just sitting there. Oh my God, that smells amazing. You're gonna just pour it right over the top. Pour it right over the top. Again, another thing that's a technique of everybody is, is different. A lot of people just like to drench these things and like literally just soak them. Some I've seen people soak uh, in bags. I've seen people just soak, just dump them in these big containers. I just like to put them over the top. Put over, put that marinade right over the top, and just let it sit in the cooler or your refrigerator rather. Um, a couple hours, two, three. And then we'll get to it. But we're gonna let these sit, like I said, for about an hour, two hours, maybe three, depending on how I feel. When I feel they're ready. And then uh, while they're cooking, after they marinate, we're gonna do some rice the right way. See you in a little bit, guys. So it's been about an hour or so. And what we're gonna do. I'm going to take this here, get your skewers, make sure they stay tight, and you're going to rotate them, flip them over, get the one on top, I'm going to swap that out, <coughs> don't spin it because the stick will just move on you and it won't do anything, pick it up and spin it, pick it up and spin it, pick it up and spin it. It's going to be so good. Give or take. About another, I'm going to say about another hour or so. And uh, should be good to go. So when it gets down to about a half an hour left, I'm going to show you how to make rice. The right way. I don't know if you've noticed I keep saying that. 
you will know when we get to that point. So we're now at the rice. And I'm going to explain to you why I kept saying the right way. Everybody fucks this up and it's just common sense stuff. So your ratio with rice is two to one. So if you do one cup of rice, you need two cups of water. If you do two cups of water, you need one cup of rice. So I did two cups of rice, so four cups of water. Now I boil it in beef, uh, sorry, chicken stock, boon on cubes. And I go one cube per cup. So four cups is four cubes. That is at a boil. You let your beef stock and your, uh, your water, or your boon on cubes and your water, get to a boil before adding the rice. And here is two cups of rice, not made by Hood. I don't think Hood's into rice yet. I'm going to put it into the boiling, at this point now, chicken broth. Now, you're going to take your leftover onions and peppers from this cushy. And that right in there. Right, get cooking. Right with the rice. You're going to take a quarter stick of butter. And put that right in there as well. No one's looking right. And you. About one and a half tablespoons of Cajun season. Okay? We go back to old trusty. We do one tablespoon of mustard, ground mustard. The only time you will stir said rice is right now. Just to get all that stuff mixed in. It's mixed in. And we're going to put a cover on. Now if you're wondering what happened to my pots and pans, this is what I like to call my welfare pot. This piece of beautiful culinary instrument and equipment will always be with me no matter what. It's a reminder of when I was on my own living up in Bangor, Maine. And I had no money and shoebox apartment and went down to the store got me a pot and pan. And uh, it's been with me since. Get that going. Oven is preheating. Cushy is almost ready to go. Show you how to get those in the oven. All this will be done. And then it's dip time. Alright, oven's preheated. Rice is going beautiful, and now we're going to get a cushy in the oven. So you're going to want to preheat your oven, 350 degrees, as usual. If you watched the show before, nothing new here. Never was, never will be. Take your cushy, set them on a pan of some sort. Keep them well and separated enough so they can cook. <coughs> Four on that one, three on that one, which means it's an odd number, which means I can eat more than my wife tonight. <laughs> See how that works? Don't be afraid with all that beautiful marinade, though. Don't be afraid to dump a little over the top of these guys because they go in the oven. Now, kiddos, do we know why we use oil when we're cooking? It's a really good conductor of heat. That should be good right there. So, we'll throw this in. And we're going to space it out. And, uh, I put it on bake, 150 degrees. Thought about broiling it. It's up to you, man. You know, you're not coming over anytime soon. So, uh, 
That's how I like it. And, uh, you know, oh, another thing, too, I want to give a shout-out to one of my boys, uh, Jason Dubois over at uh, This Is Gonna Hurt. Uh, he's like a pepper eater, like a crazy pepper eater. Like, scary pepper eater, like, the hot stuff. So, this is gonna hurt. Check him out, man. I think he commented on one of my videos, so, um, yeah, dude. See you in a little while, when it's dinner time. Boom! So, this rice cooked a little quicker than I thought. I usually wait, like, 20 minutes and check it, and I checked it, and I'm like, holy crap. So when it gets to three quarters of the way done, you look at the pot, you'll see there's no fluid left, really. Okay, you're gonna fork it. You're gonna fork it. You can fork it slow. You can fork it fast. You can fork it medium. You can fork it nicely. You can fork it angrily. Anyway, but you want to fork it, and just kind of that's your stir. The reason you don't want to stir it, like constantly, like you would with a pasta, is because you don't want to lose all that starch. It's pretty much a reason why people eat rice and they're like, oh my god, I'm hungry 10 minutes later. Yeah, because they stirred it. And once it's been stirred, obviously you're going to shut off your heat. And uh, you'll let that sit for a good 10 to 15 minutes with it covered by the welfare pan. Once the welfare pan is covered, as I said, 10 to 15 minutes, ready to go, and that should put us right on time with the cushy. Oh, the cushy. Yeah. All right, dudes. See you in a bit. All right. Meal's ready to go. It's looking like it's dinner time, guys. So, we're going to pull the cushy. Oh, please pull the cushy. Careful, there is hot oil in that marinade. I want to burn these out. Make sure you use a dry towel, a wet towel. You will feel the most excruciating pain you've ever felt in the entire life. I'm not even joking. Oh, yeah, dude, look at those. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I didn't mention something. If you don't like marinades, and you like kebabs or cushies, and you're just going to go straight plain, I forgot to mention this. Soak your skewers in water. If you're not going to put any marinades on that or soak them in anything, soak your uh, your skewer in water because they will burn your house down and nobody wants that. Make sure you shut off your oven. And I'm going to plate this up and I'm going to have me some good old uh, French Canadian Japanese uh, steak cushy. That's the name of this recipe. Oh, well, we're going to go with the rice right away. Because it's sitting long enough. Nice and starchy. Uh, nice and starchy. I don't recommend uh, scooping all the way to the bottom because rice tends to burn. And my grandmother always taught me that it's not burnt unless you scrape the bottom. So we're going to do a little bit of that. This plate's for my wife, by the way. She doesn't like sauces on the plate. I'm doing this for her. Now it'll be my plate. Cross. Got that too. Two good bowls. That's a nice plain plate. Now we're going to do my plate. With only the greatest sauce on the face of the planet. Nobody can sit there and be like, no, it's not, I don't like it, though, because it is the greatest. And vegans can't be like, well, is it vegan? Is it vegetarian? Dude, any human can eat this. And they should. Every day, I could drink this stuff. So, I'm going to do my plate. Don't worry, I'm going to keep that out because I know I'm going to be using more. Me, Ushi. And then 
grab me another cool machine. There you have it. Dinner time, guys. So obviously, I'm gonna take a bite. Most amazing thing I've ever tasted. Just more buffalo, more, eh, more buffalo sauce. That's all you need. What you need, because guess what? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Bam! Dinner time.